Here we are in Limmer in northern Holland on board the Privateer 60, a big new steel trolley yacht from the Dutch Yard that will set you back around 1.75 million euros ex tax. Here we are in the raised wheelhouse. Um, what you've got is a very comprehensive helm position, two enormous screens uh, which give you all the information you could ever possibly want to know about what's going on on board. Joystick control for close quarters manoeuvring, two very sensitive throttles, and down below you've got a 6,000 litre fuel tank which is good for 3,000 miles which will get you across the Atlantic. Now despite its size and its 57 tonnes, the Privateer 60 is actually quite a nimble boat. With five and a half turns lock to lock, you can really swing it round. Your other option is to helm the boat from the flybridge, just up these stairs. Ideally you'd like a handhold here just to help you up, because they are quite steep. Although it's not on this boat, Privateer have said they'll fit one, no problem. Let's go take a look. The upper helm really isn't the poorer relation, uh, as is the case on many boats. All the features, buttons, screens and information downstairs is replicated upstairs. Um, but as you can see, it's a terrible day. So let's get back downstairs. So now you've seen what she can do out on the water, let's get on board and have a closer look around. The cockpit of the Privateer 60s uh, is a, a very big space as you can see but there are some really great features in here such as the uh, very solid stainless steel mooring gear. There are three doors, one out onto the bathing platform and two port to starboard, a cavernous lazarette, more storage under the seats here but possibly the standout feature is this electronically operated lifting engine access. What we've got down here are two 210 horsepower John Deere diesels. Uh, there's loads of room, great access either side of both engines for daily service checks and uh, changing oil filters and the like. One thing to point out are these massive alternators uh, on both engines. Each engine actually has two alternators, the big ones for powering the onboard systems and smaller standard fit ones which keep the engines isolated from the rest of the onboard electrics. So if you know you have a catastrophic electrical failure at sea, the engines will keep running, which is a great feature for the kind of blue water cruising this boat is designed for. Now you've seen the engine room, let's take a look at some of the more luxurious appointments on the inside of the Privateer 60. What you get down here is a fairly standard uh, trawler yacht layout with some U-shaped seating around a dining table and a U-shaped galley. But there's a few hidden surprises in here. Take a look at this table. The galley's got some nice touches too. You've got a big fridge, four burner hob, a recessed drinks fridge in the countertop, and the obligatory soft closed drawers. Forward of the raised wheelhouse is all the accommodation, which is accessed via this curving companionway. Through here is the midship's master cabin. What you get in the master cabin is a very, very wide double berth, flat screen TV, loads of drawer storage, but there is lacking a little bit of hanging storage in here. Just over here is the access to the master cabin heads, so let's have a look in there. The master cabin heads is probably most notable for its massive shower and flush mounted shower head, which is also a really good size. Um, you have an opening port, plenty of storage, and lots of countertop space. Moving forward down below, what you get is a single berth 
to starboard, a separate shower and toilet stall. And on this particular boat, the owner has specced a V-berth in the guest cabin forward.